We've got a new mate, Brett loves him. But he needs a name, isn't that right Brett? And we want you to choose it. Steady on Brett. SMS your choice to 1900 great mates. A for Ricky, B for Leighton, or C for Gus. Cheers guys, take it easy Brett. Good stuff, vote now. Now Jace, what about anorexia? Now we all know that a lot of young women are affected by anorexia, but did you know that actually some guys uh, can... If I might just interrupt there, girls. Uh, I don't know if you've uh, heard, but there's just found a cure for anorexia in uh, young women. Here we go. Yes, it's a, it's a treatment especially designed for young women. Uh, it's called uh, my cock and hole. <laughs> So, my cock and hole? Uh, not your cock and hole, David. Uh, my cock and hole. Uh, given to a, a young woman, uh, as soon as they hit puberty, it keeps them fit and healthy all the way until they're 16, and then it's time for the booster shot. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, mate, are there any side effects to that one? Uh, only a few, my man. It causes a regular pulse rate, sweating, uh, full body convulsions, and uh, they say you can't walk for a week after it. Uh, it also can induce a uh, phobia of large snakes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Brett, I suppose that dose has to be given orally, does it? Uh, well, uh, yes, there are two possibilities. You can give it orally or it can be taken as a suppository. <laughs> <laughs> Not touching it. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, no. You're too much. You're going too far. Oh, Get him out. Get him out. Don't bother coming in next week, mate. Doctor's you are orders. done here. Doctor's orders, eh? <laughs> Doctor's orders. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, now here's something hopefully a little less uh, excitable. <laughs> Mate, this weather's pretty bleak. <laughs> Mate, it is very bleak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Agreed. I'm home from college. You never called, but I've graduated and I've come home, but not for long because I've I've got a fantastic job. Papa, I hope you are proud of, of me. Proud? Proud? How can I be proud? Because I have achieved something with my life. I have, I have gone on from this place where you have destroyed a family home because mother left and I have succeeded and I am something and you surely can be proud of that. Stop! I will be proud of you. When you when you can do this.
I will be proud! I will be proud. Papa. What you do, it is magical. It pleases the people. I am not you. I am my own man. But you will never be happy until I am you. It is it's worse between us than I thought. I will go now. Goodbye, Papas. Please. Please put on some clothes. Lino! Papas! Lino! I am your Son. Take care, Papa. What do you get when you fall in love? I'll never fall in love again. On tonight's Real News News Real News, defiant doctors say apples will never keep them away. Jennifer Kite reported missing, boyfriend denies letting go of string. A new report reveals work vans to be gayer than camper vans. Also tonight, Australia's new cycling dream team continue their search for matching pyjamas and a bed big enough for four bikes. That's tonight on Real News News Real News, but first, Real News News Real News pictures. Church of Scientology released picture of L. Ron Hubbard conducting first ever complimentary IQ test. Human nature interrogated regarding whereabouts of time machine police believe was used to obtain the cover of this album. And Madonna lands awkwardly. Well, we all know we should eat healthy, but a Californian study today revealed that it is not enough to simply eat fresh fruit and veg. Research suggests it must be funky fresh. A shoe shop in Camberwell was robbed overnight. Police say they are appealing to witnesses, but the boots themselves would be appealing to fetishists. Now to tonight's Real News special report.
Are people becoming more and more stupid? The answer seems to be yes. And if you found yourself agreeing with me just then, you're even more foolish than I thought. I mean, think about it. Yeah? Well, if you're still not convinced, Real News News Real News brings you this special report. A stranger thanks you for opening the door for him. Seems polite enough. But let's take a closer look. You're nowhere near a doorway, you're in the middle of a park. He's just trodden all over your picnic rug. And he's not wearing anything under that cape. That's right, he's a nut job. And he's not alone. In fact, mathematical statistics have concluded that most people these days have, like, totally lost their marbles. Chances are you'll know one or have at least come into contact with one, perhaps on our roads or on the phone. Some even hold down high-powered jobs, their foolishness conducting rife throughout those they oversee. The collective madness is even as widespread as Sweden, where the current top-selling video game is Playwares Would You Like Some Fish? A game where a player must continuously ask network players, would you like some fish? Before spending a few hours collecting babies in a rope net. But don't just believe the statistics. See it for yourself. I'm holding in my hand here 30, maybe 40 pages of crudely written sports scores uh, bound together on A4 office paper. We've written Sports Almanac on the front, 2006 to 2010. I'm just going to put it on the ground here in front of this disused saw where I've written Sports Betting Shop. Without official publishing details inside the cover, most people would question the almanac's legitimacy. But not these pitless fruits. After just two minutes, these people not only find a great interest in the prophetic forgery, but try to enter the disused building to place a bet. This man is slipping $400 under the door, but he's so hopeless he doesn't even include a note detailing his wager. We then added a contact phone number to the sports betting shop sign and only needed to wait four minutes before the call started pouring in. Dead set lose. But is technology to blame? This graph certainly would support that theory. It clearly shows stupidity per capita rising as more things are invented and as technology grows stronger. And the closer this figure gets to this line, the more of this picture of an ill-tempered dog dressed as a common street pimp becomes visible. The only thing we can be sure of is that this modern madness epidemic is now well out of hand. Just ask this woman behind me. She's been waiting in her car ever since we placed a back in five minutes sign and placed it facing into the cabin of the vehicle. That was over 12 minutes ago. Good night. And if I may ask of you, are we all here for a reason? And if so, is your reason Gondi? Is your reason what? Mostly not. For God's sake, read a magazine, watch TV. You've taught us so much. You've taught us the so many, so much. I think you should stop listening. I think you should stop listening. I think you should stop listening. Doll face, China doll face. <laughs> I'm Carl, 681540R. You wanna run with my pack? Relax, you don't need to know no secret handshake. 
you don't even need to know Joburg slang like me. All you're gonna need is a heart and maybe a drop of love. <laughs> oh ma, girl, are you blushing? <laughs> you are divine. Hey, why not check out one of my love song music videos and guess who it's dedicated to? You. What could I do to make you love me? What can I do? What can I do? What could I do to make you care? The way I care about you. I tried. And I tried to tell you. I tried it. To make you I've tried every tip in the book from every single book Gotta tell you how I feel, gotta take a look But you know what girl, there's one thing I gotta do I just gotta lay it out, gotta quit beating around the bush Man out of Joe Burke, he knows love's is absurd He told the girl that he loved her once, meant every word Poor kid went and broke in his heart He ended up right at the start until he met a new pop star. Oh yeah, I got a new sensation It is a proclamation It is a story to love and I'm reading narration fed up, knock back, that up, arrested But you think girl I'm gonna lay down? Nah, cause I just stopped beating around the bush Keep still, girl, cause I love you Shut up, girl, girl cause I, I love, love you. you Don't move, girl, cause I, I love you, you. I'm, I'm taking, taking you home, home tonight, tonight. Girl, what you got is bitching And there ain't no shame in wishing I was sticking it to you while Will Smith is busy switching So I'll flip you a can of soda And let you catch my other girl I'll grab you in my arms and I just found my four-leaf clover So you look at me real funny And then you started running for your car And I'm all like, well I suppose it's your place there And right, as right. you look up to me with tears of joy in your eye I think why didn't I quit beating around the bush years ago? Why? Why? Keep still, girl, cause yeah, cause I, I love you, you. Shut up Cause I love you Don't move, girl, cause, cause I, I love, love you And I'm gonna I'm take you home, home tonight, tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I Don't sweat, girl, cause, cause I, I love, love you I Don't fight, girl, girl, cause I, I love, love you, you. Right, guys, just want to say a big thanks to our sponsor, No Hair uh, Waxing Strips for Men. Uh, we're going to give away a few boxes of these after the show, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, geez, I, I'm glad they're giving these things away for free, because I wouldn't be paying for them. <laughs> Seriously, guys, they're great for your back, great for your lower back as well, but, but keep them clear of your pubes. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Jeez, mate. Give that a wide I berth. Think, I, I think you, uh, you ripped your old fella clean off there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go touch it. Oh boy. I think it is great that whilst we are together, you can also enjoy Bored and Selwyn. Yes. This is what be nice. Mm. Mm. They are strong men, yes? Yes, I yes. Good. I will see who is at the door. Mm. You too, sir. Papas? Papa? What are you doing here? Come in, Papa. Come in. Oh, no. You look terrible. Where are you going? Papa, stop. Stop. Papa, Annie, Annie this is my Papa. Papa, this is Annie, my lover. She offers her hand to you, Papa. What are you doing, Papa? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, Papa. Oh, Papa. This is pathetic. Oh. Oh. Oh.
carbons. You can't live with them, and by definition, you can't live without them. But the fact is, they're everywhere. From God and Jesus to Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. You just can't get rid of your dad, especially if he's an overachiever. Take Papas, he's a brilliant dancer, the best in the village. And all he wants is for his son Leto to follow in his footsteps. Leto, though, has different ideas. Mmm, it's a familiar situation, isn't it? The important thing for you to remember, though, is that if your son is strained from family traditions, don't try and murder him with a knife. He might end up dead, and you'll probably end up in jail. And that is not good for anyone. Until next time. really perfectly, didn't it? It was amazing. Yeah.